$25,000 whether or not it's Tesla, the EV maker needs a cheaper model, according to the CEO. Elon Musk has informed Tesla workers that the company plans to launch the $25,000 electric car it revealed in 2016. A Tesla CEO acknowledged at a recent invitation-only investor conference the need for a more accessible approach. But whether it will be the much-talked-about $25,000 Tesla or something else is yet unknown. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Having said that, let's get into the video. According to Business Insider, on Monday, Martin Veitcha, Tesla's head of investor relations, spoke at the invite-only Goldman Sachs Tech Conference in San Francisco and detailed the company's goals for the next five years. A cheaper Tesla was apparently one of the many things discussed in the in-depth conversation. Veitcha said that the company is working on a more cheap vehicle and stated its release is crucial to Tesla's goal of becoming a high-volume producer. While Veitcha was quoted by Business Insider as saying, Tesla needs a cheaper EV before launching its robotaxi service. He later attempted to clarify on Twitter that he meant a more affordable version of the Model 3 or Y, not the $25,000 EV frequently referred to as the Model 2. About a more reasonably priced electrical vehicle, Veitcha tweeted, never said anything about before the 2024 robotaxi platform implementation. Veitcha allegedly stated at the conference that demand for the Model 3 and Model Y remains high, negating the need for a new model. According to the newspaper, the CEO also mentioned that decreasing production costs will contribute significantly to the decrease in EV prices. Veitcha claimed that Tesla's production costs had dropped from $84,000 per car in 2017 to $36,000 in recent quarters, and that the company anticipates further lower costs from its new plants compared to its original Fremont, California facility. Also, he was quoted as saying before that Tesla doesn't need any more batteries right now. While that is promising, it seems like the $25,000 Tesla has been put on the back burner. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, originally predicted that the company's battery plan would make a $25,000 affordable EV possible by 2023 at the company's 2020 Battery Day. And then it was announced through Tesla's official channels that the company was indeed developing this model in China. Then in January, Musk stated the robotaxi project at Tesla was more vital than the $25,000 EV. CEO Musk has been talking about this for a long time, and it has a lot to do with how regulators view Tesla's full self-driving driver assist technology. Does anyone know how much Musk is saying it will cost? Musk said, it is evident from these questions that the gravity of full self-driving is not fully comprehended. When autonomous vehicles are enabled, the actual cost of transit lowers by a factor of four or five, Musk asserted. It's the same as dividing the asset's cost by five if it's used five times as often. It is argued that an autonomous vehicle can be utilized to provide rides while its owner isn't around, so increasing the number of times it can be put to use by a factor of five. Tesla has been wanting to lower the price of its automobiles for quite some time. While this concept was initially realized in a $35,000 version of the Tesla Model 3 that was available for a limited time, in September 2020 Battery Day, Musk announced that the business intended to produce a compelling $25,000 automobile with fully autonomous driving capabilities in three years. The affordable global EV will be created in China at a new R&D center in Shanghai, according to later reports, which cited the head of Tesla's Chinese operations, Tom Zhu. Musk stated that the business is not now working on the $25,000 model, but will. This comes as the development time for the model has nearly doubled since it was revealed. Musk announced in 2019 that Tesla would be refocused to become a fleet operator of autonomous robo-taxis that could operate on the Tesla network and make money by providing paid trips when their owners weren't using them. It was then that he made the now infamous prediction that fully autonomous vehicles will be feature complete by the end of 2019 and would be available in select areas by 2020. Martin Veitcha, a senior executive at Tesla, gave a talk at Monday's Goldman Sachs Technology Conference for guests only. Reduced manufacturing costs might lead to lower per vehicle prices, he said. When it rolls out its robotaxi service, Tesla hopes to have a cheaper vehicle available for use. Martin Veitcha, a senior official at Tesla, just gave a presentation to investors outlining the company's strategy for the next five years, including details on the company's plans for a cheaper electric vehicle, a robotaxi service, and other potential future goods. Veitcha, head of investor relations at Tesla, presented at Monday's invite-only Goldman Sachs Tech Conference in San Francisco. Insider was privy to the content of his extensive presentation thanks to a member of the audience. The CEO began by discussing the two overarching issues that will have the most impact on Tesla, 
and the electric car industry over the next five years, battery supply and technology, and the cost of manufacturing automobiles. According to him, the market would expand at the same rate as the availability of new batteries. This will affect the manufacturing of cells and battery packs, as well as battery design, mining, and refining of lithium, nickel, and other raw materials. What is the third technological advancement in car production? Vicha emphasized that in the next years, the manufacturing cost per vehicle is the most crucial parameter to track, as it is the final decider of how many automobiles a company can produce and how large it can become. Producing a Tesla in 2017 cost $84,000, according to the most recent quarterly report, that has dropped to $36,000 per vehicle. Less expensive batteries contributed almost nothing to the cost savings. Rather, Tesla benefited from new plant design and improved car design to simplify production, as much as feasible. Vicha further says that there are cheaper sites to make cars than Tesla's original facility in Fremont, California, near Silicon Valley, naming Shanghai and Berlin as examples. Both of these cities and Austin, Texas are home to new Tesla facilities. They plan to keep going in this direction, exploring new low-cost ways to manufacture electric cars. Roughly half of all Tesla vehicles are made in the Fremont plant. Vicha predicts that Tesla's bottom line will improve as the company's new factories increase output and allow it to create cars for less than $36,000 each. He claimed that in the past 120 years of the auto industry, there have been just two big revolutions in production. His examples were the Ford Model T and Toyota's cheaper production technique in the 1970s. It's possible to have a third revolution in the automotive industry because EV architecture is so distinct from the internal combustion engine, as Vicha put it. Is this an affordable alternative to Tesla's EV? When asked if Tesla was planning to produce a cheaper electric vehicle, Vicha replied the business eventually hopes to have a more affordable vehicle available. He explained that to compete with other large automakers, Tesla will need to release a cheaper product before launching its company-operated robotaxi service. He pointed out that the high demand for the Model 3 and Model Y means there is less pressing need to introduce a new model anytime soon. In addition, the executive noted that the Model Y's elevated expenses from the Fremont facility and nearly no leasing contributed to the prediction that the vehicle would become the best-selling vehicle of any kind, ever, the next year. This is a major sales lever we haven't pulled yet, but we may be exploring alternative methods of increasing demand shortly, as Vicha put it. Where does Tesla plan to take its fully autonomous driving software in the future? After then, we talked about Tesla's FSD software service. According to Vicha, over 100,000 people in the United States utilize supervised FSD on city roadways where drivers and the software can intervene. He estimated that by the end of the year, based on data Tesla sees, supervised FSD may roll out to Tesla's complete fleet in the US. Drivers still need to pay attention, he said, calling the system supervised autonomy and pointing out the consequences of not doing so. Tesla will fix problems and provide updated software as it gathers more data from interventions to use in optimizing the system. To get to full autonomy, he said, Tesla will use this iterative technique. For the problem of generalized autonomy, we truly believe a bulk collection of data and AI is the only way, Vicha stated. That's the direction we're heading in at the moment. A senior executive for Tesla said that the Model X and S represent the first iteration of the company's platform. Second generation Tesla vehicles include the Model 3, and why according to him, the Robotaxi system is already in its third iteration. This is it, everyone. Do you like the new Tesla EV or not? Leave a comment and let us know. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. Also, put on the notifications because the next video is going to be a great one.